One of the doctors said at the beginning of it all, he said, well, this is going to be a test of character. A little thing in my brain went, you haven't got any of that. And I thought, I don't have character, and I don't wish to be tested on it right now, you know. But it turned out to be a big test of character, I must say. But um, it's very, very difficult, you know. I mean, we we could, you know, we could get into a nice crying session now if we want. Well, we but it's on the radio, so we won't, you know. I won't, this is just us ch- chatting normally. I'd probably, you know, really let go now. I'm just trying to remind the kids and myself of what an upbeat woman she was, you know. So when we're getting pretty downbeat, as you inevitably do, we keep saying, yeah, but what would she have said? Oh, but think of that. And what about when she did that? And you do, you're able to sort of come out of it and, and laugh. And, you know, then occasionally you, you, you know, get your sense of humour back because it's for her, you know. So anything that's for her, like these interviews, I can do because the, there seems to be a point. Anything else that people just saying, will you come here, will you open this, will you do that, will you do that? Doesn't seem to be an awful lot of point at the moment. It's like, mm, maybe next year, you know, so I just sort of say, look, uh, give me a little time on that one. Uh, you know, uh, the funny thing is, you know, they say time heals. Time's method of healing is to make you forget. And it's actually the one thing you don't want to do, so it's a double-edged sword. I don't want to get any further away from her, but I want the pain to heal. So... It's a sort of no-win situation, really. But I suppose if we're lucky, that's kind of what will happen. We'll never forget her. There's no chance of that. She's just too special. But I suppose, you know, the hurt might just sort of go away enough for us to sort of get on with things.